America. But the second issue that we want to address uh, with the Congressional Progressive Caucus, uh, special order hour on the American worker, is a, a trade deal that's coming down the pike possibly as early as the end of the year, and that's the Trans-Pacific Partnership. We've spoken a lot today about uh, the need to ensure workers receive a fair wage for a hard day's work. But we're also gravely concerned that another way that our workers can get the short end of the stick, and that's with unfair trade deals that decimate American industries and ship jobs overseas. Unfortunately, we appear to have a massive, secret, and likely very harmful unfair trade deal on our hands. The Trans-Pacific Partnership, or the TPP for short, is a NAFTA-style agreement between the U.S. and 11 other nations that has been largely negotiated in secret and seems to not just repeat, but perhaps worsen the mistakes made in the past. In fact, this coming week, TPP negotiators are going to meet again in Singapore, and they plan to have a deal by the end of the year in less than a month, meaning that we may be less than 30 days away from having a final TPP deal a deal that we have no idea what may contain. And while we may not know what's in the bill, we do know what we've been promised. And it's similar to the promises that people across the country in my state of Wisconsin have been told before about these massive trade deals from NAFTA to CAFTA to the U.S.-Korea Free Trade Agreement. We've been told that free trade would lead to increased U.S. jobs. It would reduce our trade deficits. It would boost our exports and it would lead to improved human rights and labor standards around the globe. Unfortunately, almost every single one of those promises have gone unfulfilled. In Wisconsin, we have seen the devastating effects of free trades agreements, such as NAFTA, to our local manufacturing industries and our jobs. In fact, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, five million Americans have lost manufacturing jobs since the passage of NAFTA. In a recent report found that the U.S. actually experienced a net loss of 700,000 jobs to Mexico from NAFTA. As a small business owner myself, I have seen a number of American-made products dwindle uh, that used to be available and made here in the United States. The record on trade surpluses is equally as damaging. The year before NAFTA went into effect, we had a $1.66 billion trade surplus in goods with Mexico. Last year, we tallied a $62 billion deficit. And just one year after the U.S.-Korea FTA took effect in March 2012, our trade deficit in goods with South Korea has increased by $5.5 billion, a 46% increase. And meanwhile, in countries from Mexico to Colombia to Iran, promises of improved labor conditions have instead been replaced with reports by Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, and the U.S. Department of State, oftentimes worsening abuses. So with all these examples behind us, and with our economy continuing to recover slowly from the financial crisis, it should be our nation's priority to pursue transparent trade policies that promote American industry, protect American workers, and improve the economic interests of middle-class families across our country. But as I've mentioned before, the TPP is no worse than the deals of the past and could even, it is no better than deals of the past and could even be worse. At this time, I